Shalom. Back with uh, part two in the news, and we're going to get into the word consume. All right. So again, this we're talking about this one body Israelite group. All right. And, uh, you know, and their madness. All right. Spewing out blasphemy and folly. All right. Um, this is uh, Zephaniah 3 and 8. Okay. It says, therefore, wait upon me. You see that? It says, therefore, wait upon me, saith the Lord Yahweh. You see that? And these uh, these so-called Israelites say it is a waste of time to wait for Yahweh child. Go live your lives. Right? This is about what the Lord says. Not what man says. Therefore wait upon me, saith the Lord, until the day I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations, right? Which he's doing. He's mustering the nations, right? For World War Three, right? Armageddon, which leads to the destruction of America, Babylon, the great by thermonuclear fire. For my determination is to gather the nations, that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation, righteous anger, even all my fierce anger. See that? For all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. That thermonuclear fire plus that concentrated laser fire from the chariots. Okay? That's all scriptural. Okay? So, you know, I don't care who calls themselves an Israelite. If they're not teaching you, all right, the truth of the scriptures, and you, all right, are supposed to be able, all right, to discern who's telling you the truth. You people out there, you're supposed to be able to discern that. Okay? Do you understand? That's why you have to read the scriptures. Okay? You have to pray and hope that the Lord comes and sups with you and opens up your eyes, okay, and your ears, all right? All right, um, what else here? All right, um, give me a minute. All right, this is Proverbs 20 and 22. What does it say here? Say not thou, I will recompense evil. You see that? And we just finished reading Zephaniah 3 and 8, right? But wait on the Lord Yahweh. He shall save thee. Can you save yourselves? You one body group calling yourself Israelites, can you can you save yourselves? Well, you're going to get a chance to find out, right? You're going out there telling people, all right, not to wait on the Lord, to go live their lives. Well, for many of us that are sincere and truthful that are in this ministry, all right, this is what it's all about, okay? Because the world offers nothing, okay? But death, destruction, slavery, okay? Is that what you want? That's what you want for the people? Okay? Yahweh Shai is about life and about having it more abundantly. St. John's 10.10. 10. How Steve come and put the steel, kill, destroy, to rape, rob, commit murderous genocide. Yahweh Shai has come that we may have life more abundantly. You understand? All right. Let's scroll down here, verse 24. Men's goings are of the Lord, Yahweh. How can a man then understand his own way? You can't. Your thoughts are not his thoughts. Isaiah 55 and 8. Okay? Your ways are not his ways. His ways are higher than yours. All right. Let's go to uh, Proverbs. Three and six. Give me a minute. This is Proverbs three, five, and six. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, 
and lean not to thy own understanding. See that? All right? Verse 6. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. You see that? Men's goings are of the Lord. You understand? All right? All right. Uh, and as a reminder, what does it say in the Proverbs 21, 16? He that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. Yeah, what does that mean? Spiritually and mentally dead. Okay? They have no understanding. Okay? The minute you come into this truth, all right, you have made war against Esau. Okay? You understand that? And you're in a spiritual war. Okay? Doesn't it? Talk about that. Doesn't that, isn't that made very clear when you read Ephesians, the sixth chapter, from the tenth verse on down? Right? To put on the whole armor of the Lord. All right? So you can resist all the fiery darts. All right? And that you're fighting, okay, darkness, spiritual Darkness, demons, okay, in high places. The international banking families. You understand? All right, give me a minute. All right, this is Luke 19 and 13. And he called his ten servants. That's what we all are, servants, okay? Remember, we were bought, Okay. At a price. What was that price? Yeah, how was Shai shedding his blood on the cross and dying for the nation of Israel? All right? For you Negro Latinos, Native Americans. All right? All right? Deuteronomy 28, 68. Right? No man shall buy you, which means redeem you. And obviously, he's no man. He's an angelic power. He's a force. All right? He's the first spirit ever created. All right? He's the head Israelite. All right? And he called his ten servants and delivered them ten pounds and said unto them, Occupy till I come. See that? Occupy till I come. You've been commanded to occupy yourself till he come. Not to occupy yourself in sin. Okay? It would be the opposite of that. All right? Occupy yourself in righteousness. Okay? You are to put off... The old ways, you're, you're a new person. Understand that our bodies, right, have been made a sacrifice, right? We read that in Romans 12 and 1, right? Okay? We're not here to, we weren't placed here to enjoy ourselves. We're still in our captivity. We're under adhesion contracts, all right, to Esau. You understand that? We're not going to be free until Yahweh Shai comes and takes this man down. All right? And the will, the hopeful elect, will wind up up in the chariot. And that's not these bodies, but our spirits to get the new bodies. All right, I'm going to close this out and go to uh, Timothy. Give me a minute. All right, this is 2 Timothy 2, and I'm going to read down to the fifth verse. All right? Thou, therefore, into a hardness is a good soldier of Yahweh Shai, the Mashiach. That God says, you're in a war, a spiritual war. You understand that? No man that warneth entangle himself with the affairs of this life. See, when we say, or as the scriptures say, come out of her, my people, be ye separate. That's talking spiritually, not necessarily in a physical or carnal sense, but spiritually. Come out of her ways and her customs. Stop following her. Because if not, you're going to be thrust through with the sword. As we read in Isaiah 13 and 15, those that are joined unto them shall be also thrust through with the sword. All right? So wake the hell up. All right. So, and there are many precepts I can go to. You know, 
He that loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. I mean, this stuff can go on all day. All right? So it's not talking about, you know, when it says come out of my people or be ye separate. It's not saying get the fuck out of Dodge. You understand? That he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. You see that? And if a man also strive for the masteries, right? As in the scriptures, precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little. Yet is he not crowned, except he strives lawfully? Are you striving? What are you striving for? One body? What are you striving for? Destruction? Sin? All right, I'm going to end that there, and uh, we're going to get out to our lesson. All right, give me a minute. Uh, you know what? We'll just end this right here. This is part two, and when I come back, we'll start our uh, our lesson in uh, the word consume. All right? So we'll be right back with part three. All right? So long.